Alright, so here we are in the bazaar, gonna go ahead and do my final preparations for the end game. So without further ado, what up fortune tell- Fortune teller? Fortune teller, where you at? Fortune teller ain't here! That can only mean one thing. We must put the end game aside in favor for the side quest extravaganza part two. Electric Boogaloo. So everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Today, we're starting, you know, the final few side quests for this game. And we're kicking it off and figuring out just what the hell happened to Fortune Teller. Let's go search for him! Huh. I have never encountered that before. I did not even know this woman existed. Um. Okay. I, I just paid 20 rupees for antiques. Um. I'm kind of taken off guard by that. Uh. Huh. This is Rupin's house? That's his wife? No, actually, I'm curious. Uh, we're, we're putting the search for uh, Fortune Teller on hold for a minute because I just... Huh. No, wait, no. Rupin. I'm, no, wait, no, no. Gonzo is the guy that does the things. Like, Oh, him. So his wife is an evil fat hag. Interesting. Huh. Alright then, time to continue searching for fortune teller. Okay, well we found Gonzo's place, and apparently nothing's really going on here. I really hope and pray that is his mom. Here's Gonzo. No really, no real need to talk to him. Yeah, we'll talk to Scrapper. Oh, he's building an automatic washing machine for his mom. Aww. Oh, you know what? Screw you! Freaking robot. I just wanted to carry on a conversation. But, I mean, it's nice for him to hand build his mom a washing machine, even though, like, if I were him, I would just go to Sears or you know, Target or something and grab one. Wait, no, Target doesn't sell washing machines. Huh. Yeah, they don't sell, you know, appliances that big. So yeah, Sears would be his best bet. And there's the fortune teller! What's wrong, fortune teller? I'm fine. Go on, go on. Please leave me be. My crystal ball is shattered, and without it, my eyes can no longer gaze deeply into the future. It's almost as though these exquisite, all-seeing eyes of mine have begun to dull and cloud over with sadness now that my crystal ball is gone. If only, if only I had a new crystal ball to gaze into. Ooh. Is it not true that you recovered a piece of the windmill from beneath the clouds recently, young man? This shattered crystal ball was salvaged from below by Gondo's ancestor long before it found its way into my delicate hands. There may still be others like it where it came from. Yes, yes, would you search for a new one for me? Why, yes, I would be happy to do it, Fortune Teller. Yes, no doubt you can see the gratitude in my eyes. The robot who originally retrieved this crystal ball was said to have reported that he found it in a building atop a mountain peak. Can you believe it? Your doubts and ability can be calibrated to locate the crystal ball that this person is seeking. However, if you are searching for another object that someone has asked you to find, that target will be removed when you switch to this target. You wish to send the crystal ball as your dowsing target? Yes. Understood, Master. I'll set your dowsing target to the crystal ball in question. <laughs> oh, 
I'm counting on you, young man. Without my crystal ball, can I gaze to the future? Oh no, my eyes, they will droop with despair. Please bring me a new crystal ball with all haste. Aw. Yeah, we gotta help out Fortune Teller here. We gotta help him out. He's cool by me. Hopefully he's cool enough to let us sleep in his bed. Okay, so if you're paying attention to some of the little clues here, like, you can even figure it out without needing to, uh, douse. Like, the fact that he mentioned, you know, oh, wait, you found the windmill. Surely you can help me find this. Well, you pretty much need to go back to where you found the windmill, which was right here at Elden Yeah, dowsing will lead you here regardless. I'm just going ahead and skipping the middle, man, and just quickly coming here. Okay, for a minute I thought uh, something was about to get activated. Really? That that's all the save points? Huh, okay. I really thought Eldine would have more. And again, I guess I'm just not used to seeing it since, you know, most of the times you're coming to Eldine Volcano, something automatic happens. Alright, whatever. Still got some of these walls here. Alright. So, pretty much, we just want to get our claw shots up. And fine, I guess I can show it off. <laughs> We're dowsing for the crystal ball. It's right there. Yeah, I knew exactly where it was. It's easy when you know what you're doing. You already completed the thing, rather. All right. So now we just do this. Examine it. I've located a substance that closely resembles the material used in the Fortune Teller's crystal ball. It should make a super replacement. Should I call the robot to collect it? Yes. That's right. I was similar to the robot using telepathic transmission. Mistress V, I am here. Oh, you want me to carry this old thing? Hey, Master Shortpants, how come you always get the easy jobs? I Screw you! I'm up here trying to stop, you know, an ancient demon from coming back to steal the Triforce, to take over the planet, and all you're doing is carrying a crystal ball. Shut the frick up. I'm in for you in the sky, so don't take too long. Master, I suggest we also return to the sky and collect the crystal ball as soon as possible. <coughs> okay. That we will do. So I'll meet you back at Fortune Teller's place. Alright, and here we are back at Fortune Teller's place. It just looks so sad. Here's that bright and shiny crystal ball. Wow. Such a delicate hand on that robot. If you need me, feel free to call. For Mistress Fee, I will travel to any destination. And Fortune Teller just looks so amazed and happy and relieved. Oh, what do my eyes behold? This, this is it, you found it. This is exactly the same as the crystal ball I used before. Face and fortunes, my eyes are wide with the thrill of possibility and damp with tears of gratitude. I'll be able to start gazing into the future and making predictions at once. Come by the bazaar again, and I'll tell you your fortune for a special price. I hope that special price is free! And we got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. Yeah, doubt I'll show off fortune. Well, I get, might as well. I mean, I don't use the fortune teller that much anyway, but, you know, we, we made him happy. Will he show up at the bazaar immediately, or do I need to sleep? Well, we'll see! Okay, so here we are, and yes, I actually did have to sleep, so let me just see. Ah, you're the young man from before. Thanks to you, I've been able to return to a life of gazing into the future to tell people's fortunes. At least I tell you yours, somehow I'll even cut you a deal. From now on, it's just half price. Yay, half price. Woo, special rate, half off. So now it's five rupees instead of ten. Still not worth it, though. I mean, if you know what you're doing. 
No time will come when you wish these rounds to pin his eyes to see your fortune, because they'll come running to me. Hey, don't be like that. I found you a new crystal ball, fortune teller. Fortune teller! Come on. Come on. Don't find. I don't like seeing fortune tell us sad. I'm, I'll, I'll pay him five for this. We already paid a woman 20 for breaking all her shit, so might as well. Treasure! Because I know where to next. Yes, treasure, you wish for me to gave to my crystal ball for see treasure? I must confess, I know little about treasure. Looks I can give it a shot. Aha, I see many things, all is revealed. Yes, a towering forest, sandy dunes, a blazing mountain, monsters. These are the sources of treasure that I foresee. Which source of treasure do you want to hear about? I am dunes. I have sands and tumbleweeds, ancient flowers, uh, swinging a net. Just put the ancient flower on my travel back to ancient times. There's amber relic and dusk relic. These are found in every region. Dusk relic can only be found during some kind of trial. I see the goddess plumes are rare small treasures. If you should find one, you'll be the luckiest man alive. Boy. All right. Thank you, Fortune Teller. I didn't like seeing them disappointed. All right. And just like with last time, we'll be ending every one of these little special things with, um, you know, finding a goddess treasure. So let's go ahead and get a goddess treasure. I want to be free. I want to just fly on top of my loft wing until I die. I throw it up, I do it big, on my L-O-F-T-W-I-N-G, bitch. Okay, so here we are at the site of where another goddess treasure can be. It is also the site of a mini game that I will be showing off later on. Why not? So with this goddess treasure we get... Alright, 300 rupees. Shh, don't tell nobody, alright. Cool. I can do 300 rupees. Alright, so, um, no oh, good part. We got five gratitude crystals. Um, you know, we, we wasted 25 rupees, but at the end of the day, we made a profit of 275. So I'd say that's a decent trade off. Next time, we're gonna continue on with more of these side quests. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day, and see you next time for more of the side quest extravaganza. Two. Going of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Goodbye. <laughs>